up next let's go ahead and talk about absolute values all right now absolute value the absolute value function anything that's inside the absolute value and what absolute value is it looks something like this two columns like that and whatever numbers inside of here and what the absolute value does is it takes whatever number you put inside of it it just makes it positive all right if it's a, no a negative number it becomes positive if it's already positive it stays positive positive. and if it's zero it's just zero the absolute value of zero is zero because what an absolute value function is is it's measuring the distance from zero and remember and please take this to heart distance can only be a positive measurement it's always a positive measurement you'll never hear say oh negative three feet or negative 99 centimeters no we'll always discuss distance as positive units so the absolute value function just describes the distance a number is on the number line from zero so whether it's positive two or negative two the distance is still two so hopefully that makes a little bit of sense because we're going to go ahead and tackle these examples now so the absolute value of negative five we're asking basically what's the distance from zero to negative five well the distance would be five units to the left on the number line but nonetheless it is five units so that would be five the absolute value of 18 well 18 is 18 numbers from zero and so the distance is just 18 again the absolute value function makes anything within it positive with and again let me stress that again all the values inside of the absolute value all right so absolute value makes uh, values inside positive positive okay because it measures distance measures distance okay so moving on into our next example we want to go ahead and start looking at what some exam questions may look like so we want to order the following numbers from least to greatest we have the absolute value of negative 6 the square root of 10 5.5 and the cubed root of 20 so let's go ahead and tackle this and I went ahead and make this a little smaller that way we have more space to work with right on so the absolute value of negative 6 take a second to think about that remember it measures the distance from 0 how far is negative 6 from 0 well it's 6 units just in the left direction so this would be 6 the square root of 10 well I don't know what that is exactly because I don't think that 10 is a perfect square but again let's use that technique and think about those reference points the nearest square root or perfect square would be 9 so we can say that this is between the square root of 9 and that would be 3 and then the next best perfect square well let's think about it 1 squared is 1, 2 squared 4, 3 squared 9, 4 squared 16 and so that would be between square root of 16 which is 4 so it's between 3 and 4 and we can safely bet that this is closer to 3 than it is 4 alright again we can safely bet that this is closer to 3 than it is 4 so uh, just about 3 and you could say it's between 3 and 4 just keep that in mind though it's not too important right now 5.5 thankfully that's written out for us that's just 5.5 <laughs> and then the cubed root of 20 this is probably the hardest one here cubed root of 20 remember cubed root what does that mean again take a second to think about it remember it means what number multiplied by itself three times gives us that 20 so let's think about it our perfect cubes we have one cubed is one two cubed is eight three cubed hopefully from the previous example you noticed that it's 27 so we know that the cubed root of 20 is somewhere between two and three somewhere between two and three somewhere between them so if we're ordering this from least to greatest there we go that's how we can tackle this type of problem first analyze each number and then go ahead and order them we got six be something between three and four 5.5 5 
and something between two and three. Well, something between two and three, that's definitely the smaller out of the four numbers. So I would say that the cubed root of 20 goes first. Up next, well, we have something between three and four, 5.5 and six. That's something between three and four is up next. Next, well, this is the easy part now because we have 5.5 and six. So we can just order them as is. And the six, remember, it was represented as the absolute value of negative six. And there we go. We've successfully ordered these numbers from least to greatest. Boom. All right. So let's go ahead and pause, take a little uh, quick break if you need to, because we're moving on into fractions now.